Mr. Toastmaster, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here tonight before you because of a list. Now, I wrote this list when I was in a bit of a transition in life, and I, what I set down on that list was where I wanted to be, and also a few points of how I wanted to get there. So I'm hoping to use this as a sort of basis to base this speech on sort of who I am and where I'm going. Firstly, I'll start with who I am or where I am. So at the moment, I'm a, a planner. So I'm looking around the room and had a conversation earlier and I get the same blank eyes. What's a planner? Well, I'm not a wedding planner. I'm not into weddings. My time management is awful, so I couldn't. <laughs> In fact, I should have been here two weeks ago, but I lost the whole week of my life. I'm really sorry about that. So I'm a, I'm a town planner. So what I do is I promote developments within a certain area and I assess applications. So they can be small household applications or massive ones, big airports or anything. Planners are in the top three most hated professions in the country. <laughs> so why do I put myself through this? Why do I put myself through the, being a punch bag for politicians, for residents, and for developers? Well, to be honest with you, I quite enjoy it. I really like buildings, I like places, and I like the idea that we can shape our places and create communities that people can really live in and enjoy. I like the idea that we can solve problems where are our kids going to live? Where are the hospitals? Where are the schools? For instance, in Harrow, very difficult here. We don't have enough schools. So how did I get here? How did I get to being a planner? Well, I spent seven years as a planning officer. Two of those years I've been juggling doing my <coughs> masters, and I'm now fully qualified. And I spent a little while there setting up a company, and now I have my own planning consultancy. And I work for Harrow at the London Borough Civic Centre, which is just around the corner. And I really enjoy it there. The people are great. My manager's fantastic. I get to work from home, which is fantastic as well. I can sit in my pyjamas and tie. But last week, I handed in my notice. <laughs> so that takes me back to the list and where I want to be. Because on that list, put a few points of what do I want to do in my life, what do I really want to do? And I put down travelling and teaching. For me, travelling is something that has always meant to happen, but just never really, never really got to that point. So I'm hoping to get out there and explore the world and to see everything I can see, taste everything I can taste, and enjoy different cultures. And then teaching, Again, it's something that I think is the most, one of the most pure professions you can have, passing on knowledge to the younger generation. It's fantastic. And at the end of every day, you can see the kids leaving, knowing more than they knew before when they came in, and that's fantastic. On top of that, you can regularly check their pronunciation. Yay. Yay. So back to my, my powerful list, and, and how I want to get to where I'm going. Well, the first thing I did after I wrote this list was I signed up for a half marathon and I gave myself two months to train for it. Bearing in mind, I've never done any jogging in my life. <laughs> so if you're thinking of doing it, doing it, leave more than two months to train. But I did it in two hours and I really enjoyed it. And I finished it and thought, I'm never doing that again. But I think I will do that one. The second thing I wanted to do was get a teaching experience. Would I enjoy it? So I spent, uh, I spent a week with six-year-olds, little balls of energy bouncing off the walls, and I loved it. It was great. I spent the whole time trying to correct them, saying that I was sir, not miss. I'd never seen a male teacher before. The beard wasn't a giveaway. But the third thing, and I think the bravest that I've taken recently, is to give up my job, and I've bought flights to Asia, and I leave on the 12th of January for four months. Mm -hmm. And I'm spending a month in Hanoi doing an English teaching course, and then hopefully spend a month or two traveling around, practicing. So this sort of brings me back to when I was writing my list, and I realized at the time that there was quite a lot of skill sets that I didn't really have, and I really needed to be able to stand in front of people and to communicate, and to be able to pass on that knowledge. 
So that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here in front of you.